Welcome one and all to our National Christmas Tree Lighting celebrating 100 years. As Shania Twain just reminded us all so beautifully, it really is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So thank you, Shania. And on this not-so-silent night here in the heart of our nation's capital, it's beginning to look exactly like the 100th lighting of our national Christmas tree. Right? Because for a century now, people of all faiths, representing the major political parties, have been gathering right here to celebrate with this beautiful view of people's house, the White House. In times of peace and times of war, through 10 eventful decades of American history, Americans have been coming together here in the generous spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood to spread a little comfort and joy and shed a little light. Okay, a, a lot of light, because it's a pretty big tree. It's 30 feet tall, all right? Listen, we know these are tense times for a lot of people in this country and around the world. Even around the holiday table, those tensions can flare up and remind us of those things that so often divide us. But through 17 American presidents, no matter what separated us, Americans have found some common ground here during the season of lights and giving. So in the next hour, we'll be lighting this tree as well as lighting things up musically with the help of some wonderful artists in multiple genres singing older and newer songs of this season that will light up this night at the White House. You ready? And so, it is my great honor to stand here with all of you and introduce our hosts, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. say we're delighted to be here and we're going to do a little thing right now hang on a second you ready I'm ready you hit all that right. switch all right is everybody ready for the big time tree are you ready is everybody having a good time well, let's kick off the evening by lighting up the star of the show the national christmas tree everybody ready let's count this down together five, five four, four three, three two one, one. Here we go! Oh, yeah, okay! United States to celebrate the 100th lighting of the National Christmas Tree. This event brings together people of all backgrounds to celebrate the holidays and reflect on the past year. The first lighting, 100 years ago, was inspired by a student letter to President Calvin Coolidge. On Christmas Eve 1923, President Coolidge walked out to this circle and lit the first national Christmas tree to the astonishment of those in attendance. Tonight, 100 years later, we continue this joyful holiday tradition. For my family and for so many cultures across the country, this time of year is marked by beautiful traditions. No matter how your family celebrates this special season, I wish everyone a safe and happy holiday and warm wishes for a wonderful new year. Now, I have the great honor and privilege of introducing a couple that leads with compassion and integrity and who I am so incredibly proud to serve with. 
President of the United States, Joe Biden, and First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden. This won't take more than half an hour. <laughs> Thank you, Secretary Holland, for that introduction. And Merry Christmas to everyone. On behalf of Jill and Kamala and Doug and I, we welcome you all to the National Christmas Tree Lighting. Thanks for tonight's host, LL Cool J. Yeah. Give him a — and all the great, incredible performers who are here. As a matter of fact, I don't know how they did it with uh, just that one beautiful lady coming out. Anyway, long story. <laughs> Freezing. But special thanks to the National Park Service and National Parks Foundation, which takes such great care of our national parks, including right here tonight at President's Park. For 100 years, Americans have gathered at the White House to celebrate the holiday season with the lighting of the national Christmas tree. Through seasons and struggle and strife, progress and prosperity, for a century and counting, we've come together in a spirit of unity and joy, hope and light. And so we do today with an eternal spirit of our nation as well. Earlier this week, Jill unveiled the theme of this year's holiday at the White House, We the People, the very idea of America, the first words of our Constitution, the beating heart of our democracy, an enduring reminder that America has many, many strengths, but our greatest strength is America standing united. And during this holiday season, reflect on our blessings that despite our differences, there are far more things that unite us as one America. Common values like liberty, opportunity, dignity, respect and honor, and compassion. In the season of fellowship and goodwill, we remember those values and we seek to make them real for each other. We also hold in our hearts everyone who is missing a loved one tonight and through this Christmas season. We're grateful for all those who console and give them comfort. That's America, a nation full of talent and aspirations, daring and undaunted, a nation that, that hurts and heals but never, 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 ever gives up. We're the only nation in the world that comes out of every crisis we, we've encountered stronger than we went in. That's we the people. And so on this sacred season of joy and hope, let's join together with confidence in a singular American belief in anything is possible, because that's what I see in the American people. You're the reason why I've never been more optimistic in our, about our future. And we just have to remember who we are we're the United States of America, and there's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity if we do it together. So from the Biden family to yours, Merry Christmas, America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night.